to the Mink Life Motivation Live Show. Today, we are going to talk about impactful networking. Do you feel that you don't get enough impact um, from your networking or with your network? If so, uh, hang with us. We're, that's what we're going to talk about today. It's another Thursday. We are so excited to be here um, with the show. I'm Colleen Struby, the uh, follow-up fortune finder, and my wonderful co-host today is Amy Lancy, and we've got some uh, great topic to talk about networking, and of course, both of us love this topic, so Absolutely. we're super excited to be here to share with you, and remember, you are also part of this show. Um, we want you to comment and, uh, you know, be part of the conversation. If you got questions, you got comments, uh, let's hear it out there. So um, even if we're uh, on the replay, go ahead and comment so that uh, we can get back to you with those uh, answers and questions and be part of this community. So our first uh, question is, how does understanding what networking is help you to be more impactful? Uh, Amy, go ahead. So when I saw this question, I had to ask myself, what does being impactful mean to me? And to me, impactful means, you know, leaving a lasting impression on somebody um, in, a, in such a way that helps them, but also helps me to open more doors. Uh, so when I think about what networking actually is, to me, networking is all about building relationships, building community, building that support. And once I recognized that this was really what networking was, it was not so much about how many people can I meet. It was more about, you know, how can I build, how can I find people that I want to have in my circle where I can build meaningful business relationships where we're all winning together. And so therefore, once I recognized this, then I was able to be more impactful in my relationships because I was thinking more about how can I help the other person? How can we help each other? How can we be better power partner, partners going forward? Yeah, I think um, when you look at networking and understanding uh, like what you can do in the networking arena to really, um, like Amy was saying, is make those connections, have that impact um, with the people surrounding you. I think that's really where you uh, you can really take advantage of networking as being that one to one kind of one to many relationships. Um, and now with virtual networking and in person networking, um, it can really take your business and your relationships to the next level. So let's look at um, getting motivated. Right. So we always want to talk about like how can we motivate motivate us with this topic? And so why is it important? to be impactful um, in your networking? Mm -hmm. It's always going to go to you, Amy. <laughs> I know. I was like, it's it's until we get somebody off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, impor it's important to be impactful with your networking because if you don't understand what impact really means, then networking is always going to be a transactional relationship of like, what can right. you do for me? You know, and then what can I do for you? Which you know, it's still that same conversation with impact, but it's it's coming from a more heartfelt place and like genuine curiosity of, you know, uh, what are your strengths? What are my strengths? How can we actually help each other as opposed to more of the transactional kind of mindset where it's like, ooh, like what can I take from you in order to get get your clients to pay me, you know, and, and vice versa? So, um, yeah, Peggy, it totally is all about intention. Um, and I think that when your intention is right, that is when you are going to be more impactful. So, like, it's different for me. Like, let's say I went up to Colleen and I said, hey, Colleen, I think we can really um, hit it out of the park as a partnership. We should do a, a, some kind of workshop together. You know, you'll invite your people. I'll invite my people. And, you know, we'll just 
show everyone what we can do together. That's different. That That is impactful to me versus, uh, hey, so Colleen, you know, I see that, you know, you are doing this and that's different than what I do. Now, let me give you a whole pitch to get you to give me all of your clients um, without really going the other direction too, because there's a two-way street going on. And also, you know, like I said, that's more transactional. Like, what can you do for me versus what can we do for both of us? Yeah, I think uh, definitely um, when you're looking at creating those relationships and, and building those connections, right? And I also think about it because we were talking before the show and it's like impact. Is it really the impact of what I have on the, the people in the room, the network, or is it the impact on my business when I'm looking at networking? So you really have to look at networking from both sides of that coin. And if you look at, um, you're at networking, a lot of people are in industries where there, there might be multiple people in the room um, that do the same or similar things, you know, realtors, mortgage titles, you know, coaches now, right? Um, so how can you make an impact on the people who are sitting in that room to make you stand out, right? We were mm -hmm. talking, you know, what can you do to really um, change up the way you say um, what you do, you know, who you serve, you know, what problems do you solve so that when someone hears that you're just not the next, you know, dime a dozen kind of person that they really, you impact what they're going, oh yeah, I need to talk to that person. So yeah, when we're looking at impact, you know, you need to look at it from um, both sides. Absolutely. Um, I, if I could just add something, Colleen, yeah. uh, what you were talking about, it made me think about you know, when I've gone out to networking groups, whether it was virtual or in person, you know, there are the people I connected with right away. And, you know, we we talked about business, but, you know, we, we connected on all other things like core values and mm -hmm. what was really important to us. And those are the relationships that I, I kept up with. I followed up with talking to the follow-up queen. Mm -hmm. um, but then there were people who were uh, exhibited shady behavior. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> like there, were, there were people who were just like shoveling out their business cards, right. and, you know, saying things that made you kind of question their integrity. It's like, mm. they but made I, an impact, I, right? <laughs> just not yes, a good one. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was a negative. That's, that's an example of negative impact. Yeah. Don't do that. Like, you know, yeah. just, you know, and it really, and I think that's all stemming from a transactional mindset. And so when you're, so it's, it's in my belief that when you see kind of like the slimy behavior, it's from a transactional mindset right. versus like when you're coming from a, from an impactful mindset, usually your interactions will be genuine and authentic and will naturally attract you and the people that you need to talk to you to each other. Yeah. When you, people come and that's the kind of thing, like, um, I look at the energy, like sometimes you get into a room, right. And there's just like, I just love this person's energy. Like, like even when we connect it way back when, right. It's like, Oh, I just love their energy. And it just wants, you just want to hang out with them. Right. Cause they, you know, they, they exude this energy, this positive energy that you want to be around and they bring that into their business. Right. Mm -hmm. But then, like yeah. you said, there's other people where, and I, I chalk it up to they weren't taught correctly, right? So that's, yes. what, that's like, what it is. One they of my goals is like to help people, you know, learn how to network better. And in, in the fact of, you know, they, you know, their business or their company, you know, when they taught them, hey, go out and talk to everybody within three feet of you or whatever. And, you know, I, we've all been on the sales, you know, one to one calls that someone pulls out a presentation, you know, a PowerPoint yeah. when, when we're just there to try to get to know them. Right. So exactly. um, I, I look at it as like those people I. I, I'm looking to like help them, right? And it's like, no, don't do that, you know? Yes, um, please unlearn what you learned before. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like so hard, but you know, that's, and I look at it as that's what they're taught in the same, you know, you, you see it. I, I have some people that I network, you know, you go to a networking and they say the exact same 30 second commercial time in and time out and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, can you, can we work on, changing it up a little bit to, to create that impact. Right. Because yeah. 
if if you go to something on a regular basis, they've heard it, so they've tuned you out. You know where yes. if you know you switch it up every now and then, you ask for something different, you 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 know, you share a, a tip or you know you share how you helped a client. It, ooh, that was thunder. <laughs> um, yeah. The um, you know that's where the impact comes. I think, and and you're the story person, right? So I mean, yeah. when you're looking at impact in networking bring those stories in right so because i think that you know yeah. it really helps people um remember what you're doing right so and, and pulling it in it really does like hey we're, we're all human no matter yep. like how impressive our our work our resume our linkedin profile is no matter like how how long that list is of accomplishments like no matter what we're all human and right. you know if you are not willing to be human in a human setting then it's that that that's not that that can be troublesome to say the least yeah. so oops uh yo's out there saying caught me on redoing my same pitch issue yeah i mean when you get a good one the very first part of it can be great you can lock that in yeah. but then make sure you're always adding something that's that's different so that mm -hmm. um the people get it like if you can you can lock in that first little bit of like who you serve what problem you solve yeah. you know nail that piece of it but then make sure you're adding something to it so people have a reason to like keep following up. Like, because if you keep asking for the same thing, they're like, oh, well, I didn't have that last week. I didn't have it the week before. I don't have it now, kind of thing. You know, switch it up in that piece. So, uh, so let's get and uh, stay inspired. We love this piece of it, right? So, how does the lack of understanding what networking actually um, is affect your impact? And I think we've kind of covered. I think we've pretty like much that, covered but, this already. Right? Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, what else can I say about this? That you know, when I mean, when you're like what Colleen, what, like what you were saying is that sometimes people, or maybe I think really ninety percent of the time, people are taught wrong. Mm -hmm. And when you are not taught to look at networking from impactful perspective, you're definitely going to be, you know unconsciously or maybe intentionally stepping on people's toes and thinking oh this is just part of the game this is just how business is and you know it, it may it may give people a bad impression of you when that was never your intention right. um and that's something where you know i believe you can always fix things like if you make a mistake you can always like usually there's a there's a way to get a second chance but you know you you do only have one opportunity to give a first impression. It doesn't mean the second, third, and fourth impression can't make up for that, you know, one mixed first impression. But it, it's just like it's it's hard to recover from that. And so, um, and and also just to say that you know, when it comes to networking, it's not a here's oh here's one thing I can add here. Um, when it comes to networking, it's not about getting everyone to like you either. You know, it's about getting to the people that need you and the, getting to the people that you need. So, you know, it's not about, oh, I'm the most likable person in the room, because when you are focusing on being the most likable person in the room, then you're going to be more focused on the other people rather than remembering why you're there in the first place. And when you're not grounded in that, then you're going to you're going to be all frazzled in that room. And then people are going to be like, I, I still am kind of confused in terms of what this person really does because you're more focused on like, right. I need you to be on my my team so that way you vote me as Miss Popular versus like, hey, I need you to understand what I do and I need to understand what you do. And I need to see like if we can, you know, potentially create something where we can trust each other in the long term. Yeah, totally, totally agree. Um, and then, when you're looking, like you said, the understanding of networking, just realize mm -hmm. that it's it's all about the relationships and and it's not quote a numbers game. You know, networking is a great place to find those connections, um, but you don't walk into a networking room thinking you're going to come out with a sale. Um, and so many people, I think, they think that in the sense of oh, I can go and meet all my potential clients, and yes, you can but it, it's going to take it's it's taking time to get there so um yes. and to look at that so 
<laughs> All right. So we, speaking of networking, we want to keep networking, right? So who should we ask for help to maximize your impact in networking? Who's that person you go to to, to talk about networking or, or the impact that you're having? The person I go to uh, in terms of having a better impact in networking are, let's see, I have a few people. It has to, does that only be one person? No, I mean, <laughs> Can <you be> <laughs> um, let's see. So uh, first I'll look to my inner circle. Those are the people who know my business best. And um, those are typically people who are in my mastermind, the milk crate. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I go to them first is because they know me best. They know what my objectives are. They know uh, what my gifts are in ways that, you know, I still have yet to see. And so, you know, if I go to them and I'm like, I have this idea in, in order to, you know, impact my networking more. And they may be like, they, they'll be honest and they will be loving at the same time. And all of that combination is it's just it just means that they're looking out for my well-being and asking me the right question of, you know, is this really the thing that's going to get you to where you want to go? Or does this feel right to you? As opposed to like, oh, it sounds nice. Shiny object syndrome. Right. <laughs> Whatever that idea may be. And then, you know, if we, get, we got the green light between me and my inner circle, then like I go to my other power partners who um, also have communities who are also looking to, you know, lean on me as much as I lean on them and then figure out like, how can we make it such that our communities can significantly get the help they need and the support um, while also, you know, helping us to grow the community. Um, it's, it's, that, it's that combination mm -hmm. of right. making sure the people who have been loyal to us and we've been loyal to are not left in the dust and, but still like bring new people in at the same time without sacrificing anything and then without burning out either. So, yeah, I, th I think you need to look like when I look at the people for networking, I always look at like, like you're saying the people in the community, right? Yes. So, um, you know, we test out our, our, you know, 30 second commercials or our, mm -hmm. our little minute things in the Minky Vader all the time. It's like, yes. Hey, here, you know, this is what I'm, I'm thinking the new one. What do you think? And see how it, it lands on people and see if it does make an impact. Right. And then, you know, I also look at like, who, you know, when you go to a networking event, you know, obviously connect with the person who's running the event, right? They're the one that knows everybody there and who you should connect with. So if you want to, you know, they're the one that can help make a big impact in your business um, by getting mm -hmm. to know who, who they think the mover and shakers are in the group. Um, look at the people who are you know, are succeeding in that group, right? You you can tell. I mean, if there's somebody there that there's a group of people around, typically, you know, they have a great commercial when they, they're talking, you know, you're engaged with them. Make sure you, you connect with that person because yeah. obviously they're doing something right that you can, uh, you know, borrow from and, and say, oh, well, I'm going to take this piece and put it in, in my thing. I always like look at pulling pieces from other people. It's like, oh, I like this. I can change that and, and yeah. make it your own. Right. So, yeah, look at those people, you know, your inner community, like you were saying, those community, and then look at the people that are in the group that that you're you're in. A lot of people um, are in like referral based networking groups. So, you know, ask them sometimes, you know, it's not everybody right in the group, but you can pull aside a couple of people and say, hey, you know, because like if you're not if you feel like you're not having an impact, right, especially like. You know, I feel like, oh, something's not working, right? Then, yes. then ask the person going, you know, what can I do differently, right? What are you hearing? Where, where in my, you know, what do you need? I asked this the other day, I was in a networking group, we, we do presentations. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I asked the question, it's like, what question or what information do you need so that you could refer me easier? Right. So what do I have to give you to, to, you know, what information are you missing? What, you know, do you understand what I'm doing? You know, and to, to make it easier on them. We've, we've talked about it on other shows, too. It's like if you want someone to refer you, make sure you make it easy for them to refer you. You know, give them right. the language that they could use. Give them, you know, an example or a story. Right. That, you know, 
um, that they could use so that when they're talking about it, um, then that way, you know, it makes it easy. If you make it easy for them to refer you, then it's going to be, it's going to be so much easier for them to do it. Right. If, yeah, if they've got to struggle to do it, then, um, you know, everyone's busy, right? So you've got to make it easy for people to refer you um, in order for it to happen. Right, right. That feedback is so important. And you're right. If people don't know what you need help with, uh, they're not going to do it because right. they're not mind readers. I mean, maybe some of them might be, but, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well, they're all busy with their stuff, right? They're so. all busy with their stuff, right? Um, and then I was also thinking how sometimes for me, um, I may hear somebody, somebody I had never met before. I may hear their elevator pitch and they may have something I have, I, I don't have a need for, but mm -hmm. there might be something about them that I'm like, I feel like I need to talk to you. I don't know why, but I feel like there's like some energy about you. That's like, we are, we would be really cool together as some kind of duo or like just to, just to talk, just to have a good time and get to know each other. And then also when that happens, when I'm, next to them and I, I'm talking, uh, you know, I, I will, I'll ask questions. Like if they don't make it easy for me to refer people to them, you know, I, I also look at it. My impact is like, I'm going to ask extra questions just to see like if any, there's anyone in my network that I can introduce them to uh, because, you know, we don't know what we don't know. And right. so I, I will usually take it upon myself to extend that handout if the energy of the person's right to say, okay, um, I want to know what you need help with. You clearly don't know what that is. <laughs> Let me ask you a few more questions just to see what that is, because I know what it's like to not know what you need. Right. So let me ask you a few more questions. Like um, once we understand what that is, then I'll be like, okay, so I can introduce you to this person or this person or this person. And it makes it easier for me to just extend my hand out in that way. There you go. So as we um, come to our last question of gaining knowledge, so what is uh, one final tip? I know we have lots of, that can help people have more impactful networking. My tip to make uh, more impact while networking is to find a way to make it fun because honestly, I think it's really hard to fake fun it's really hard to fake having fun. Like people can tell when you're faking it till you make it. And it's like, ah, ha, 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 that's like, that's a fake laugh. And it's really annoying. Um, <laughs> but you know, if you are genuinely having fun connecting with people, that's when you are genuinely yourself. And when you are in that mode, it's easier to make more of an impact while networking because you're you. And you're not, you're not outside of your body, like trying to figure out what everyone else is doing. It's like, no, you are in your body. You're still observing what's happening in the room, but you're in your body and you're having fun and you're enjoying this and you want to do more of it. And you're just being yourself and you're not feeling like you are having to put on a mask. So that's my, that's my number one tip. Yeah. And I was going to tack on like, you know, be yourself, right? So, yes. mm -hmm. or, or as Yo would say, be yourself. Yes. <laughs> So, yes, yes. Um, yeah. So it's, and, and that's, how, so, I mean, I came from corporate, so it's taken me like years and years to like really kind of feel like, yeah, I can, I can let loose at different times or stuff. Cause it was always like, Oh, you need to be proper and you need to, you know um, but yeah, like you were saying, having fun, I think is the whole key to it. Right. So, cause if, it, if, if it's a chore, you're not going to want to do it. Like I love to go networking. Other people like go, you know, oh my God, I hate it. And people ask me, what do you do for fun? I say, I go networking. <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, it, it is, it just lights me up to, to yeah. go to networking. And because we were talking about impact, right? Because you can have impact on two people at the same time yes. with one activity, right? Mm -hmm. So you were talking about like, if you find out um, this person needs um, they're looking for a type of customer, you know, the person who needs that service, right? So they have a solution, you know, the person has the problem and you can connect those two people. You made an impact on two people's lives with one activity, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, and that's, 
I think what feeds like feeds my heart when I do stuff like, you know, it's like nothing like someone coming from a networking thing and they're like, Oh my God, thank you so much for introducing me to them. They've changed my business. They were partnering together. We're doing webinars mm -hmm. together. You know, I'm like, that is just exciting, you know? And, oh, yeah. you, you know, and that is like just making an impact because now not only that, but now they're doing stuff together, right? So now they're impacting so many other people, right? Yeah. So um, I, I really feel that like networking can have this massive impact, you know, on the world because, you know, I help you and you help a person you, and it just kind of feel, you know, ripples out that ripple out effect, right? Exactly. Uh, actually, uh, Colleen, I, I just recognized there was something we didn't touch on. I was thinking, oh. and you, you kind of touched on a little bit just now, mm -hmm. but I was just thinking about how, you know, sometimes an entrepreneur may have something like tech technology issues that, you know, they're not a technology whiz and technology is the one thing that is keeping them in their perfectionist mode mm -hmm. and therefore keeping them from taking action. And so, you know, when they meet someone like you while networking, and, you know, if they're unwilling to talk about their technology issues, you know, someone like you can't refer them to a technology expert. That person mm -hmm. is just going to continue to be like, I'll just continue tinkering behind the scenes and wait until right. I, I had that all figured out on my own when they still have yet to figure it out. And so uh, that being said is that, you know, um, you can really make an impact on yourself when you're being honest about some of the needs in your business that are really holding you back logistically and also you know mentally and so it's really important to like you know be real about that when you're networking and tell people like colleen and and myself you're like i need i don't i can't even deal with my website my website sucks uh i don't even know how to work wordpress i don't know what that is like you know if it wasn't for that i'd be like off off to the races with my offers like okay well right. shoot this person over here does websites go talk to that person <laughs> So. Oh, and, and we have that like in our community, right? We talk about, you know, sometimes you need someone else to reflect back yes. what you don't know that you have the issue, right? It's like you were talking about like, oh, you're getting too, because I, I tend to get into the details, right? And we have people in the community, Monica and every other people, you know, other people will say, hey, well, have you thought about this or have you tried yeah. that? And and there's they, they come at it from a different perspective so that um because you can't see it right so yes. and i think that's what you're saying is like have yes. somebody where you know have those people in your you know your um community in your you know business as your advisors that will reflect back to you maybe something yes. you don't want to see but something you need to see right and it's yes like, oh, okay and then at least you can you can act on it right if someone can say you can choose not to act on it like the person like you were saying they could say well no i'm going to figure it out myself or i want time to do it and that's fine yeah but if someone kind of shows it to you eventually it's like all right fine i give up let's do it you yeah. know kind of thing. and then it people i've had stuff where you know i've had you know a tool you know that sends out cards and stuff and i've had, you know talked to people and like yeah i'll get to it i'll get to it, i'll get to it and three years later they still haven't done it and then finally they do it and they're like oh my god why didn't i do this sooner you know it's like it's like in your own time like everyone does stuff in their own time but yeah there's times where we could like probably do things a little bit sooner so absolutely absolutely but, but that's why we need to lean on our network for that yep. So, so awesome. right to, to like I said to be that mirror to reflect the things back to you. So, all righty. So I I told you I thought it would be short because it's just two of us, but I knew we we would. <laughs> it's like yay, get us talking about networking and things like that that we love and and we just want to pour this information and the great tips yes. to you. But it is now time for announcements. So Amy, how can people connect with you and what's going on in your world? So I have uh, I have my open house event coming up for the Mill Crate, which is my mastermind, where business owners can come to practice their pitches in a safe space, and they get that real time feedback from a from a loving perspective, and and a very honest perspective too. So we're opening up our doors to the to the world to non members to come join us uh, next Wednesday at nine in the morning Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you know, it's an opportunity to sit in on one of our meetings free of charge and then 
you know, you can get some help with your elevator pitch as well as just see like how the milk crate really works as well as just understand like what really comes with the membership. So, um, so I totally invite you to, to sign up, come to the, to the open house. And at the very least, you know, you can, you can see how it goes and you can give me the feedback I really need in order to, you know, grow my mastermind more. Perfect. That sounds like an amazing offer. You guys need to go check out uh, Amy. Um, and if you are struggling with your follow-up, um, I, I want to help you. We we're talking about having fun while doing follow-up. So um, I created the Fall in Love with Follow-Up Experience, and I would love for you to come try it out for two weeks. Um, come give us a day or two um, during the week, and uh, we will get your follow-up done at that time. So it's not a, a training in the sense of you're just going to come and listen for an hour and then go away. It's you're going to listen, you're going to learn a little bit, and then you are actually going to implement and do it so that you leave with appointments on your calendar. So what else is going on in the world, the mink life world? So we've got lots of stuff going on. So um, we want you to be part of this community um, that we keep talking about. It's amazing. So um, come join our community. You can do that at minklifeuniversity.com. Um, we hang out, like I hang out with Amy a couple times a week in the community. Um, so if you are looking for that help that you haven't found out there, um, come uh, connect with us there. Um, we have our amazing conferences coming up. So we've got um, one coming up in August and one in September. This is like no other conference that you've been to. Um, we've got the 24 panel discussions, workshops, breakout sessions. Um, make sure you check that out at uh, nextglobalvirtualconference.com. We're also looking for dynamic speakers for that. So if you're interested, um, you can uh, check that out there and um, do an interview process for that. Uh, and of course, we have our co-working, the uh, Minky Variant we've been talking about um, for this. If you have not, um, if you feel alone out there and you um, in doing your entrepreneur, um, building your business, you know, you want to hang out with some amazing people with great energy, um, come test out the uh, Minky Vader, um and we'll show sure we'll make you welcome there. And our, um, as we were saying, we would love to have more people on the couch. We also would love you to be here on screen with us so um, that you can be part of this conversation um, and, and help share your knowledge out to the world. Um, so uh, if you would love to be uh, here on the live show, just go to minklifemotivation.com slash live and tell us, um, we have lots of different categories. So, um, Tell us who you are, what you do, and, and I'm sure we'll be able to get you on the show coming up very soon. Speaking of shows coming up, we've got um, Irina um, on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific um, to calibrate your life. Amy, thank you so thank much. You so much. much. This is awesome. Yep. So hopefully... Um,